I'm back in the saddle again Out where a friend is a friend And the longhorn cattle feed under the little chips and we Back in the saddle again whoopie tie i oh, rocking to and fro Back in the saddle again whoopie tie i I'm on my way back in the saddle again. That's an old Gene Autry song, in case you don't remember it. And I'm Rusty the Cowgirl, and I would like to tell you a true Pueblo story about saddles, cowboys, and a horse named Lucky. Did you know that in the late 1800s, Pueblo was probably the saddle-making capital of our country. Yes, right down here in the heart of downtown Pueblo on 2nd and 3rd Streets, a Mr. Gallup had come and opened up a saddle shop, and then a Mr. Fraser came after that, and then a Mr. Uh, McConnell came, and the horse that you see behind me is uh, uh, on loan to the Pueblo Heritage Museum from uh, the McConnells. It's quite a story, and the horse named Lucky has quite a history because when the 1921 flood hit Pueblo, he was in a saddle shop down on Union Avenue, and the pressure of the water was so great that Lucky floated out of the saddle shop and actually floated down uh, 14 miles and was found suspended from a tree limb in Avondale, hardly damaged. And when they were able to get to him, they dried him out and put him back in a safe place. A few years later, he was in another saddle shop belonging to the McConnells, and there was a fire at uh, uh, the, the uh, store next door, and the saddle shop didn't make it. But as the bur that store was burning, the people on the street were yelling, save the horse, save the horse. And they got him out and saved him once again. So he has quite a history. And we still like to see a good horse and a good rider, don't we? And so Pueblo has a lot of, of that kind of history, and Lucky is a part of it. <laughs>